The high pressure seals on your NLB NCG 8450A 3 hand lens can easily be replaced when needed. The operator can tell when the time has come to replace the high pressure seal when water begins to exit the hand lens near the inlet end cap. The operator may see this water or they may feel it on their hand. The water will exit the hand lens via one of the four weep holes. Another way the operator may know the seal will need to be replaced is that the pump will not be able to reach its desired operating pressure. Before we begin the process of changing the seal, it's important to understand the relationship between the brass backup ring, the high pressure seal, the O-ring, and the swivel shaft. Pressurized water exerts force on the flat surface of the high pressure seal, causing it to extrude into the ID of the brass backup ring. To begin the process of replacing the seal, pull back the anti-rotation sleeve and unscrew the inlet end cap. With the end cap removed, you can now pull out the high pressure seal housing. Now, grasp the high pressure seal housing in one hand and the backup ring in the other and pull the two apart. With the backup ring removed, you can now see the high pressure seal inside the housing. Your NCG 8450A 3 hand lance was delivered with two tools a plastic pick to assist in the removal and installation of the O rings, and an aluminum tool used for the removal of the high pressure seal. To remove the high pressure seal, you must first remove the O-ring from the ID bore of the housing. Use the plastic pick to work the O-ring out of its groove. Next, use the aluminum seal tool and thread it into the old high pressure seal. You can now pull the tool and the high pressure seal out of the housing. Before installing a new seal, clean the ID of the housing with a shop rag to ensure that all the debris is removed. Before you handle the new high pressure seal, clean your hands thoroughly. Any residual oils that may transfer from your hands to the seal can cause the seal to spin inside the housing, leading to premature seal failure. The seal ships from NLB in a small plastic container. It should remain in this container until it is ready to be installed. Remove the seal from the container and install it flat side down so that the tapered portion of the seal is facing outward. Next, install the brass backup ring. If you're installing a new backup ring, it will ship with a protective sleeve over the tip. Remove this sleeve and then place the backup ring against the seal and use it to push the seal into the housing. Install a new O-ring into the groove in the ID of the seal housing. Start it with your fingers and then use the plastic pick to finish the installation. Inspect the O-ring carefully to ensure that it is fully seated into the groove. Before installing this assembly back into the hand lance, apply anti-seize onto the assembly as shown. Then, slide the assembly into the hand lance and apply anti-seize onto the threads as shown. Now, pull back the anti-rotation collar and reinstall the inlet end cap. Tighten the inlet end cap until it is snug. Then, release the anti-rotation collar and back off the end cap until the assembly clicks together. This completes the procedure for installing a new high-pressure seal.